Hello. As I thank God for you, we are in this very special day, this Memorial Day. And this is a day of, of remembering. And there is much to remember. We remember what happened one year ago on this day and, and all the events and struggles that it showed, that it demonstrated, that it, that it revealed some that we knew about, about, about humanity and our treatment of one another. And through last summer, all the difficulties therein and how they continue, we do remember. And we remember, we remember the source of this, this day that we, we mark, this Memorial Day, and how it goes back to, to even the Civil War when this nation was at, at war with itself over, over our treatment of one another and who we would be as a country. And the grief, and the grief that people held over those who died in the Civil War, but now we even bring that out. And the grief in our hearts over those we miss, and our, our thankfulness for those who have secured our freedom and our, our commitment to, to hold and savor our freedom and, and to make sure that, that everyone in this country enjoys it to its fullness. I sit here on, on these special benches, here in loving memory of, of two brothers, Tom and Jim, and the blessings that God brought into this world through them. This is a day we remember. We do remember the hard things. We remember those we miss and and I have a sentiment from second Peter and this is from from the Apostle Peter and it's about our remembering as we remember as we remember all the hard things in Minneapolis and through our country and around this world as we remember all the things and the ways we treat one another, as we remember those we miss dearly and our freedoms for which we give thanks. Peter, the apostle, who did see Jesus killed and, and saw him rise again, Peter, who did see Jesus ascend to heaven, says, therefore, I intend to remind you of these things, though you already, though you know them already. These things that we know already, on this day of memory, on this day of remembering hard and difficult things, on this day of remembering sweet things, Peter, wants to remind us of the things we already know. Peter wants us to know the basics of faith, that Jesus came into this world, this world that has such beauty, came into this world that has such difficulty, and that he died for us that he took the sting of death away, that he took death itself away. Where, O oh, death, is thy victory? Where, O oh, death, is thy sting? The sting of death is sin. But out of God's love for us, God sent Jesus, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. So, so I have this prayer from history, from our tradition, this memorial prayer. Almighty God, before whom stand the living and the dead, we, your children, whose mortal life is but a hand's breadth, 
we give thanks to you for all those through whom you have blessed our pilgrimage, whose lives have empowered us, whose influence is a healing grace. We lift up thankful hearts that we may now be dedicated to working for a world where labor is rewarded, where fear is dispelled and the nations made one. O oh Lord, save your people and bless your heritage. Day by day we magnify you and worship your name forever and ever. Amen. God bless you.